learning about prayer. Prayer is a form of worship. Do you remember what worship is? Worship is showing God we love him because he is the most important of all. Let's review what we have learned about prayer so far. We know that we can go to God and meet with him anytime and anywhere. We call this meeting prayer. We are meeting with God. You can pray in public out loud or in private quietly. The important thing is that you are thinking of God and truly talking to him, not worried about what others are thinking of you. Talk to God honestly. Jesus already knows your heart. He knows everything about you. Even though he knows everything, he still loves you so much, and that's why he sent his son. We don't have to worry about what others think. We are loved by God. He wants to hear your words and your heart because he loves you so much. Wow, we have learned so much about prayer, and it's so awesome that we can pray anytime to God and that he loves us so much that he wants to hear our words. Today, we're going to read more from our book, what happens when I talk to God to learn more things about prayer? Are you ready? God listens to me any time of the day or night. I can talk to him in the morning after I get up or in the afternoon when I am playing. I can even talk to him at night when only light I can see comes from the moon and stars. God likes for me to talk to him before I eat so I can thank him for my food. He also loves to hear my bedtime prayers right before I go to sleep. I always thank him for my day. I say thank you, God, that you never sleep and you are always watching over me. Thank you that you hear me anytime I pray. Sometimes I talk out loud to God, but he also hears me when I pray in my softest whisper. He can even hear me when I talk silently to him, when my words are only in my head. When I say or think words like thank you, God, or help me, God, I can always be sure that he hears me. The Bible says that he does, and I believe his word. I say, thank you, God, that you can hear me even when I'm talking softly, even when I talk to you in my mind. Every time I pray, God listens to and accepts my prayers, no matter what kind of prayer it is. I can pray a short prayer or a long prayer. I can pray a prayer I learned in Sunday school or church, or I can make up my own prayer. I can pray alone or with other people. God says that praying with other people is very powerful. I can also pray for others, and I can also ask them to pray for me. Sometimes everyone can pray together, but sometimes that is important to them. Prayer for other people is one way I can share God's word with them. I say, dear God, help me pray for other people as often as I can. How awesome is it that God listens to my prayers and that there are a lot of different ways to pray? Jesus used the Lord's Prayer to teach us how to pray. Let's read this prayer together. You can find it in Matthew 6, 9 through 13. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You may have heard this prayer before, or it might be the first time that you ever heard it. I want to encourage you to take the time to read this prayer with your family this week. Hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time.